Hey, Mustafa. Your homework this week is looking really nice. I love the llama guy you have. Um, got a vulture down here. Great job on the head of the hawk. Nice job overall with your birds this week. Um, there are a few things I want to talk to you about. I'll start out with the hawk coming down. You're starting to get the breakup of the feather groups. Mm, excuse me. Um, and this is looking quite nice right here. I'm going to pull back the leg. Actually, just kind of indicate where that thigh is and the drumstick. Or the Hindelhaxen. Um, right in here, I'm going to pull back. There's covets underneath the tail right there, so it fills out that area of the tail a bit more. And then let me just zoom in really quick right here and full screen it. Um, the head, I'm going to just harden it up a little bit more, kind of draw through where the eye line is. Get a nice angle right in there, kind of fill that out a tiny bit more on the hawk. Uh, eyes fine right there. Um, so this, there's a few things, and the same thing applies back here. I'm just going to pull in the, the side here, get that, get that leg going and clean this up a little bit. I'm going to make sure that this comes forward. It really comes forward. And then push these guys back a little bit more. Okay, really think of that shape at the bottom right there of those pads. And pull out the digital pad as well, this part right here that pops out at the bottom. And the same thing down here. I'm just going to pull this guy out. All right, just a few things there with the uh, foot. I uh, really like that he's grasping the fish right there. That's very nice touch. Um, if you want to pull in the allular up there, go ahead. But just a few nitpicky things right there. Um, your vulture here, he's coming towards, looking like he's, he's about to bring on some hurt probably to a jackal or something. Uh, watch the eyes that they get a little, they're starting to get a little bit uneven. So I'm just gonna pull across a line and just get that structure in there. Um, and when you're drawing this part up here with those feathers, I'm gonna pull in a softer brush. It's getting really spiky and it's turning into like a Bowser shell, um, King Cooper. So just <laughs> watch out for that. Really think those feathers, the feathers on that, that tuff on that neck region, uh, that hind neck and mantle region coming back here, uh, very soft. And you can think of it much more of a shape like this. And I'm just going to pull them back and I'm going to soften that up so they don't end up looking like spikes. So watch the texture right there <laughs> of those feathers. And you can get that nice overlap as well. Okay, and then pull that down and so on. Just a quick tip right there with the feathers so you get a nice softer feel to them and they don't, you don't want to end up again like uh, Bowser spikes um, and, and stuff like that. Um, the wing coming in, this is looking really cool. I'm glad you went in and started breaking this stuff. I can see the groups. You're getting the allula right there. You're getting the covets. You're also getting the primaries coming towards. Um, if you want, just think of the line thickness when it's moving back and also move with the direction of that, of that feather, especially right here. I'm going to just pull this guy back and think more in terms of perspective so this, it gets pushed back into space a bit more when I'm uh, cross-hatching right there. This is looking cool. I really like the mark making you did, how you broke up that leg. This looks really fluffy and I'm digging that. Here the foot, um, just clean it up a tiny bit more on that foot. I'm going to pull out the claw. Not a grasping foot, definitely not. I'll pull that out and then just kind of make the top a little bit more crookedy. Pull in the bottom right there. Just kind of clean that, clean that foot up a tiny bit more. And the same thing right here. Look at that claw at the end and just clean it up. Okay, it's just a little attention to detail. You've got so much nice, you had a lot of nice things going on uh, with those, with the feathers and with the overall structure of the, the vulture. You just kind of clean up that foot and don't forget that because it can, for me, it's one of those things, don't leave it out. Um, it gets, it gets annoying uh, when you start leaving that stuff out. And even here, you can start putting a bit of a, the information on top of the, the texture and the, the scale 
uh, patterns on that foot. Okay, and like right in here, I'm gonna just, just gonna pull this guy down off to the side a little bit more for you, Mustafa. And I don't want it to end up looking like a sausage. This is not a wurst goose. So I'm gonna pull that out. Just kind of break that, break that up a tiny bit more for you, okay? Um, so a few things on the vulture there. The Lama Gaia looks great. Um, not a whole lot on here. If you really want, start pushing the value um, of the of the sketch a bit more. You can really go in and start showing off a bit more of the uh, rendering skills. But that's what I've got for you. Other than that, just watch that the beard of the well, bearded vulture. Just make sure that it's much softer and doesn't end up going like it's gonna. It can point that at you and attack you with it. Uh, great job on the hawk here. Really not a whole lot. You're starting to pull in the feathers. If you wanted to just go in and start really pulling in a bit more, you know, a little bit more attention to detail with the feathers, that would be cool. Watch the outline thickness here. It's starting to get a little flat. You're getting a nice thick outline back here and it's starting to really show that these are very dark feathers. Now these are lightening up. So watch that a little bit and do watch that you get a bit more of that direction and this doesn't start kind of flopping off to the side there, okay? You kind of pull in those feathers. You don't have to go in and pull all the individual feathers in, but even a, a soft mark making just to show that those feathers are there, that's fine too. But great job on that. I really like the faces of these two birds of prey. And your toucan here. Uh, nice job. Um, if you want to just pull this guy out a little bit more, love the face. It looks really solid. Again, if you want to pull a little bit more value in and a bit more t the detail, go ahead. But other than that, this guy's looking good. The only suggestion I have is if you want, go ahead and pull out the tree because what's happening is that there's this, there's kind of this alignment right here on these two things. And if you pull it out a little bit more, it'll break up that shape. And you can kind of pull that forward and it has a nice movement to it. And you, then you have a nice movement up into that uh, toucan. And again, I know that they'll, they'll stand on one leg, but it feels like he's really, he's really balancing on this leg and he might fall over. So if you want to pull in the leg on the other side, go ahead. I'll pull that in. That foot looks really cool the way you've got it. So I'm just gonna grab that, have him grab that uh, branch right there. But overall, Mustafa, fantastic work this week. Keep it up, and I look forward to seeing what you make uh, for your rendering week. Ciao.